And good day everyone, Owen Azuris here, and today we are looking at Dining Roguelikes at Stone Shard, the prologue, which is a game, as you can see down here, which you can currently support on Kickstarter. Unfortunately, by the time I get this video up, I think the campaign will have expired. I'll still link to their Kickstarter page because sometimes they let you support games after Kickstarter has already finished their Kickstarter campaign. Maybe they'll do that. And if not, at least it'll give you some good FAQs and info about the game itself. So this is a prologue. We're going to go ahead and hit play here. I've already played through a little, but didn't get too far. So you start off and you are this character named Varen. So this, I think, is going to be the prologue to events that actually happen in the game itself. It's a standard roguelike. In the FAQ, it does state that once you get the full game, which will be available, I think, later this year, or maybe next year. I know for backers it said December 2018. Anyways, but you'll be able to fully customize your character. So this is just kind of a story, kind of a proof of concept showing off the overall game, how combat's going to work, and how various systems are going to work. It's pretty unique when you get injured. You actually have to go and use various items to heal your characters, like splints, almost kind of like a survival game, or almost like Metal Gear Solid 3, where you have to go and manually remove items from you. I found some sort of drugs I had to use, which actually killed me last game. One problem less to bother. So now I have to get out of prison, go to this corpse here. So I'm currently immobilized. Okay. Oh yes, I have to take off these shackles. Poor log. Turns out your feelings didn't deceive you this time. Then go ahead and do this. I'm gonna get so I have to have water. So definitely a survival aspect of the game. Inventory management. Leave Locke's body. Doors locked. If you right click to pick the lock. This escape will be harsh. Haven't held anything except rape. Pick up the loot here. Got a traveler's blade. And I think stuff you can interact with or pick up sparkles. As otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell. Like here, I would think maybe I could pick up all that stuff, but you can't. Let's see if there's anything I need in these cells. I don't. Oh, there's a potential body there. I didn't get him last time. And nothing on the corpse. Makes sense. He's in prison. But you never know. Ooh, there's an apple. Last time I mainly found rotten apples. So you gotta get it right on there. So. Or you can stand on something and then open the inventory and it'll be at your feet. I, don't know, I hope they work on the inventory or picking up stuff just a little. I'd almost like to be able to just auto pick up stuff if I walk over it, but. I can kind of understand where if you had lots of different items, that wouldn't be an option. So now I can open everything. Um, I need lock picks. Okay. I guess I was picking those locks, and I ran out of lock picks. I don't have a key anymore. Oh, I guess the key was a one-time use item. We'll break down the door. We'll see lots of I've blood. With my guts. Oh, there is a trap there. Get a peasant sash. That art on that sash reminds me a little bit of Path of Exile. I've been playing a lot of that recently. So I'm prudent. I'm currently thirsty and a little light on hunger, so let's eat an apple. Drink a little water. Okay, and then I'm currently prudent. Let's go down here. Pick 
up. An Ether Inhaler. So it's a painkiller, sanity increase. Got three use of that and get some splints. Uh, so I'm about to cause an explosion. What, what do I throw on the floor? Oh, ointment. I need that. And so now I need to set that bomb off. Light it up. Dive to now last time I did this, things did not go well for me. Kind of like in Diablo, you can hit tab to switch your weapons. So I'm going to make a... Oh, back up. Oh, I got hit. Okay, so I've stabilized my injuries. Open inventory and use both splints to stabilize your injuries. Stabilized injuries heal over time. So I need to use this splint. Use that splint. And your pain level is increasing. Left untreated, the shock can kill you. Inventory, so I'm going to use my ether inhaler. Most painkillers are toxic. High toxicity can kill you. To lower your toxicity, inject antidote or drink lots of water. Luckily, I got an antidote. First is the hardest. Okay, so this is as far as I got. So if I hit B, that opens my menu. Rest mode, stealth mode, okay. I like stealth in games. Let's rest a little while. And so I stabilize those. I'm currently thirsty, so I'm gonna use my inventory. Okay, for some reason it wasn't letting me access my inventory right then. Don't know why. And pick up... Okay, had to right click on it. So yeah, I'm hoping they manage the inventory just a little better. It's apparently a little cumbersome. Oh, vampire. Him by surprise. Shoot him. And I guess he's a vampire. Well, he didn't seem to do good when I stuck him with my sword a lot. So, so far, this is like a tutorial. I've had the exact same thing I had the previous game, so I'm not sure if. This prologue is actually a roguelike. I'm going to assume that once it opens up a little more, it'll become more roguelike in nature. And what did I get here? Heroism. Okay. Not dropping anything. Ooh, there's a book. read it. Day five, diseased, ill, healthy. So are these like people that died in the prison? I'm gonna assume that. So do I need to rest right now? No. Need my hand to get stabilized. That would be nice. So you can use mouse, you can use arrow keys. I read on the FAQ they're supposed to have joystick support. That'll be cool too. Ooh, I have to jump in the pit. Two guest lies forward. There's too much at stake. I must. You've acquired a unique class skill. Use it wisely. So I got flame wave. And against the odds, your health can't drop below 30%. You gain 30%. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm betting now this is the roguelike portion of the game. Yeah, we got a potion here. I don't know what it is. Better search for traps, just to be safe. Iron Maiden there, it looks like. Hmm. I'm 
getting hungry. So I might want to eat something here in a moment. Ooh, a sword, four damage, five damage, so it doesn't seem to be better. It does have more accuracy though. Got a ring here. I don't know what it does. So I'm gonna hold off on identifying that until, or wearing that until I've identified that. And I can't. Let's break it down. Eat some bread here. Staple of dungeon explorers everywhere. Bat. I bet it's dead. And doesn't look like things went too well for this guy. Oh. Oh, this guy can shoot, huh? Unfortunately, no. Nah. Okay, this is. get some. Okay, this is going against the odds. And that killed me. So, I will escape to restart. Okay, so I don't have to do the tutorial again. That's cool. I appreciate that. I was kind of worried about that at first. Got a diary page. That must have been somewhere in there. I just missed it. We'll leave that up there so you can read it. And go ahead and equip this stuff. Looks like stuff I would have found had I actually had to play through a tutorial. So I like the fact it gives you a kind of advanced start here. You don't have to do the tutorial again, because I didn't really feel like doing the tutorial again. What the heck is that? Okay, that guy was powerful. I probably should not have fought him. Probably should have tried to fight him from a distance. Okay, let's equip. Wish I could find some better items. But, that's what happens sometimes. So, so far I've been enjoying this game. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the inventory, like... See, I would have missed that. But it's okay. I'm sure they'll prove it. I got some optimism. I'm always an optimist. That's good. Just, oh, there's something there. Okay, there was nothing there. Open it. something there. Elven mud. So some sort of alcoholic beverage. And there's more drinks here. No, ointment. Ooh. So four... Evasion 2, Critical Chance 2. Mm. Traveler's Blade does more damage. I'm going to keep it for now. We've got some gold. 
first money I've found so far in this game. I see the stairs there. I just want to see if I can find some more items, make my survivability a little better. Okay, get in the hallway. Take these guys out. Roguelike style. Ooh, that was a critical hit. Nice feedback it gave there. Very satisfying sound that it made when I got the critical hit. Okay, you know what? I got plenty of ointments here. I'm an optimist. I'm going to move on in this dungeon. The tremors become stronger. I'm close, I believe. Okay, getting close. I see a bag here. Got some more water. Jeez, all right. Diary page. We are the court we have come to offer. Okay, that's nice. Let's see my character. I'm a seeker. Do I gain experience in this? Not sure. Let's go up here. See what happens next. The church sellers. Okay. Church has got some sellers here. Pick the lock. Failed. Pick the lock. Thirst. I am thirsty. Good thing I found this water skin. Uh oh. Gonna get out of range of fire here. my against the odds. This guy is tough. They're back in the fight. Cool. And I want to rest now. Sweet. So I like that skill against all odds. Uh, get out of this mode here. Okay, I don't know why every time I rest kind of makes it... Do I have to hit rest again? Okay, I have to manually... Oh, what's this thing? I do not know. Did not look friendly. Let's see if it likes fire. I don't have use of against all odds anymore. I took care of that. Oh, I'm getting all this stuff that I can't identify. I mean... It has to be better, right? I need to beat a retreat here. Let's go ahead and rest some more. Okay, so I gotta manually click it off of rest. And so there's this guy. Hopefully we can take him this time. I got a wound I'm gonna need to bandage. Wow, they are coming for you. Okay, against all odds. Go to hell, he says. So I'm not bleeding anymore, that's good. I am going to rest some more. I think I should be able to manage it. So these enemies don't play around. 
course, I might be under-leveled. I might not have powerful weapons. Plus, this is kind of showing me the game itself, so they kind of have to get across its roguelike. Did I level up? I think I did. Sweet! So, strength... Increases health, melee weapon damage, critical damage, block chance, fatality, agility, evasion chance. That sounds good. I'm not doing much with mana, so I'm going to do one agility and two... Oh, only get two. Well, I'm going to do one agility and one strength. We'll see how that goes. And then I'm going to check this cupboard. I'm getting hungry. some sort of unknown sword here. I'm betting my current swords. Seven damage. You know what? I'm going to risk it. It looks cooler. It's got to be good. Doesn't it? This looks like some rotten meat here. Yeah, Pretty rotten food. Potion of safety. Sa satisfies hunger and thirst. Turns the skin into stone. Increases intoxication. Okay. A good day. Oh my guy seems to like the idea of getting some alcohol here. Accuracy minus 25. Let's go ahead and throw those on. Golden Ring. Get some mana. Cursed Hardened Ring. 20% increase in pain every turn. Well, that sucks. I'll still keep it, just in case I can do something with it later on, but... Oh, it's this thing. And he summons things. Just great. I'm in a lot of trouble, aren't I? Okay. Can I just close the door? Are they dumb enough not to know how to open a door? Yep, they don't know how to... Wait. and rest up. Then I'm going to need to eat. Okay, click off of rest. And eat. Good job. This guy thinks he's undefeated. He's a skeleton. Come on. You think I'm going to believe you're undefeated? You're dead. You've already been defeated. Okay, I am in a lot of trouble. And here are the stairs to the next level. Corrupted church. I am going to rest because I got to investigate the church to find any survivors. Apparently, my companions and I all got waylaid, looks like. So, we need to make sure none of them are here. Try to figure out what happened to us. Well, there's something else here. More elven mud. I kind of want to drink it. Freshness!
Run! Why are you still carrying? Hey, it's Darrell, the blacksmith. No! Don't leave us here! Do something! Yeah, I'll kick his butt. <laughs> I beg you! Oh, what a trip! I'm messed with the companies too much this this time. Ah, yes. I hope you didn't mind this little mess. This is a necessity in your case. Such a shame you contemplate only the ritual's hand. Your mates, souls, served. That's a nice. Noble. Wiping the blood sucking fill from Elder's surface is a noble goal. Well, well. A self confident prey. The fate is the only judge from now. Destroy the statues to dispel the barrier. Okay. Okay, I need to destroy this thing. Okay, this boss is kind of hard. I don't start all over. Okay. So I am dead. Who just lies forward? That's too. And I have to. This is pretty much the end. Nah, I'd have to do it all again. So, you know what? That was a quick look at Stone Shard, the prologue. Hopefully you enjoyed this look. I will put links to it on Steam page so you can download it on the YouTube channel. Also, a link to the Kickstarter, which unfortunately will end the day I post this. But hopefully you can still support the game if it looks interesting to you. I enjoy it. it seems to be a lot of fun. It seems to be pretty difficult, especially at last boss. Or I'm, what I'm assuming is the last boss, though I just started playing this, so I might just be missing a couple of tips and tricks that would make it a lot easier. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Remember to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.